Now, the man who set himself on fire outside a courthouse in New York where Donald Trump's hush money trial is underway has died in hospital. Yes, GB News has confirmed this with New York Police Department. The police identified the man as Maxwell Azarello from Florida, who was in his 30s. Let's talk to uh, commentator on US and international politics, Professor Scott Lucas. Good morning to you, Scott. Um, I mean, this is a, a tragic case that someone who seemed to be disturbed has has self-emulated and, and died in this way. Um, it raises... Uh, uh, questions, though, doesn't it, about just how intense the, the situation, the atmosphere is becoming in the United States? It has been the case before that people have committed uh, self-immolation over various issues. Uh, you could think about it happening during the Vietnam War, for example. Uh, in this case, uh, Mr. Azzarello uh, appeared to be a conspiracy theorist, uh, he had pamphlets about Ponzi schemes, about the mob being in control of uh, New York City's educational institutions. But what makes it different, I think, in the 21st century is simply the, the speed and the scope of social media and the way that, that people will spread ideas or spread conspiracy theories so quickly and how dialogue can very quickly be replaced by division and by shouting. Um, I have to emphasize for viewers here that although Mr. Azzarello set himself on fire outside the courthouse where uh, the first of Donald Trump's criminal trials are proceeding, it, does, it has no connection with the criminal trial itself. He just simply chose a spot where he could get a lot of attention. But on your broader point, yes, American politics has become a lot more polarized. That's been the case since the late 20th century, even before social media developed. We can discuss why. Um, and in large part, Donald Trump, his own style, his own way of, of using social media has sort of accentuated that polarization, uh, even before we talk about the legal and political significance of the trials that are starting this year. Uh, and Professor, I'm very, very sad to hear that this individual has lost his life, but so traumatic as well for those bystanders, those witnesses that saw this, this horror play out in front of the courthouse. And we're also hearing uh, that police officers suffered injuries as well. Yeah, there, there were some injuries uh, from people from smoke inhalation that were trying to, you know, treat this man on the scene, trying to save his life there. Uh, it, it, it is the case that when you get a charged atmosphere, uh, you have the question of security. And I have to emphasize that despite the, the warnings or the concerns that we might have a lot of security incidents around Donald Trump's trials, uh, that has not occurred. It just so happens in this case that one individual chose this as the setting for what happens. I think there's a discussion here. You've been having it on other fronts about mental health, about how people in this era where everything comes at us so fast and so loud can protect mental health. I think it's a case where I'm hoping that in my native country in the years to come, we get back to discussing the issues in, in a calmer way, in a way where we have a lot more respect and tolerance rather than in all caps tweets that says, I'm right, you're wrong, and that's the way it has to be. Uh, yeah, I think that's a valid point, uh, to be honest. Uh, Scott Lucas, good to see you.